Long before the Europeans came to our shores, there lived an Aztec emperor named Chimichongatli. The honorable emperor invited all the tribes around Lake Texcoco to celebrate the marriage of his son, Prince Weasley Pocho, the daughter of Hanapenichito, leader of the menacing Nacho Lucote tribe. Tortilla maidens rushed in. Suddenly, the joyous atmosphere of the fiesta came to a complete halt. In my temple, we only serve flour tortillas. These are not fit for monkey chow. Bellowed the indignant Indio. Shit! Vale madre! Vamos a la chingada! Vamos a la chingada! As the band of wedding guests made their way out of the magnificent city of Tenochtitlan, outraged citizens pelted them with hardened corn tortillas, until at last the shrieking Indios were chased from the great Aztec capital. For seven days, and seven nights. The droning sound of war drums could be heard throughout the Valley of Mexico as the Nacho Locote prepared for battle against the Azteca. Yeah, you're gonna go to battle right now! Yeah! Chongatli saw this conflict as an opportunity for his son, Prince Weasley Pocho, to prove himself on the field of battle. But the princess bride to be was not pleased. We've been waiting here. I want to get married now, and you're not going anywhere. We'll do Chichen Itza, okay? No, no, no. I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do. Morning of the seventh day, the battle was to begin. The opposing armies met on the now famous Masa Meadows. The Nacho Locote were famous for their fierce and nasty battle tactics. Then came the order to attack. Suddenly, as the two armies ran to engage each other, a lone figure appeared in the middle of the battlefield. It was Quetzal Dia, the reclusive Brujo who lived alone in the mountains. He was mystic advisor to all the tribes in the Valley of Mexico. Tecate! Tecate! Modelo! Sapura Asahi Tecate Tecate Con Limon On this command, the skies opened up and a torrent of tortillas rained down upon the bewildered combatants. The two generals approached the shaman and begged him to stop the tortilla tornado. Quetzaldia promised to halt the tortilla storm, but only if both sides agreed to stop the aggression and to accept both corn and flour tortillas as equal. Needless to say, the Indians agreed and feasted that night in the great temple of Tenochtitlan in a brotherly fashion where the food servers cautiously asked the diners, as is the custom in most Mexican restaurants to this very day, 
Would you like corn or flour tortillas? Oh, my God. 